In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the basic programming of the ERA RXPG to the ERA PBTX push button and the ERA UTX universal transmitter. Now, the ERA PBTX is an outdoor rated weather resistant push button. It features a green LED that illuminates when the center button is pushed to let you know that it is successfully transmitting. And at night, it does emit a very faint low glowing green LED and that's just so users can locate it easily. It requires very little power. It has a high power lithium battery. It should last you two to two and a half years depending on usage and weather conditions. Now the ERA UTX can be used as a push button and can also be used as a door window contact and you notice on bottom there are some relays that you can use to integrate with some other devices. It has a very ruggedized case. On the back, there are four screw holes that have silicon grommets inserted into them to keep the moisture out. This should last you a couple of years as well prior to needing to replace the batteries. Now, like all ERA transmitters, they can work with an unlimited number of ERA receivers and they transmit up to 4,000 feet line of sight. So that's whether you're using the PBTX push button or the ERA DSTX driveway sensor or indoor motion sensor or even the ERA EXTX wired doorbell extender. Now for this video, we're gonna demonstrate the ERA RXPG. It's a plug-in receiver. It plugs into a standard wall outlet it's got three modes of operation that you select using this switch on the side. It can be sound only, strobe and sound, or strobe only. And that's great for a lot of different reasons. One of them is if you want to be in a quiet area and don't want to hear the doorbell, but you want to be notified, you can use a strobe light. If you're in a loud area like a warehouse, you can use a strobe light and the sound. It's got volume control and a mode button here that we're going to use in a moment for programming. It plugs into a standard wall outlet and I've got a power strip here that I'm going to plug it into to demonstrate the programming. Now like all ERA receivers this receiver works with up to 12 different transmitters. Any of the ERA transmitter sensors can be programmed to this receiver. There are 12 different sounds available on the receiver. And what most customers do, and we're gonna, we're gonna demonstrate this in this video, is they're gonna choose a different sound for the transmitters that are programmed to it so that you can determine which transmitter is triggering the receiver. So the first thing we're gonna do is, on the side there is a mode button and I'm going to hold that mode button down for approximately three seconds until I hear a short tone sound. Now the first available melody by default is a basic ding-dong sound and that's what I'm going to use for the ERA PBTX. And so all you have to do is trigger the ERA PBTX or whatever the transmitter is when it's in programming mode to program it to the receiver. And you can see this red LED blinking on the receiver. That just notifies you that it is in programming mode. So I'm gonna push the push button. And when you hear that short chime sound, that lets you know that that particular transmitter has successfully programmed to the receiver. So next I'm gonna program the ERA UTX. But as I mentioned earlier, I wanna have a different sound for this push button than I did for this one. So what I'm gonna do is on the side, there's the mode button that we pressed earlier that put it in program mode, and there is a volume button. We're gonna press this volume button to scroll through the available sounds or melodies. Now that's back to the default sound. I'm gonna use the second sound, which is slightly different. It's a double ding-dong sound. And now 
I'm going to trigger the UTX to program it to the receiver. Now keep in mind as a programming tip, if I'm using a DSTX as my transmitter or sensor that I want to program to this receiver, I'm going to trigger it slightly different, differently than I am the UTX, but I'm going to trigger the UTX. You hear that chime sound, that means that it's successfully programmed. I don't have any other transmitters that I want to program, so I'm done with my programming. So what I'm going to do is hold down the mode button. So that's the lower button on the side until I hear that short tone again. Now, you notice the red LED stopped flashing. You heard that short tone. That means it's out of programming mode. So now we're going to test. So you can hear the distinction between those two sounds. Now I have the receiver on sound only. I'm going to toggle it up to sound and strobe. It's going to flash approximately for 15 seconds. Same thing with the UTX. Now I'm going to flip it to strobe only. There's no sound and it's only flashing. And then if I put it back on sound, I'm going to switch the mode of operation toggle to sound and I'm going to adjust the volume using this button. It's got a uh, picture of a siren or a horn with some sound emanating from it. Now just a quick programming note, you may be in a situation where you've programmed different things over time and you just kind of want to start fresh and start over. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the mode button. Once it enters programming mode, which you can tell it's in programming mode by the red LED, I'm going to hold down the sound and the mode button together. Oops. It starts blinking quickly. And then I hear that short musical tone. There's no more flashing light that let me know that I have erased the memory. So if I go back and just test, you notice it's not working anymore because I deleted the memory.